Hello everybody, so today I'm back here in Trailmakers, and I would like to show you guys the brand new cruise missile that I made. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here's the cruise missile, so I try to make it look really good while also retaining functionality. So let's uh, take off. And here we go, oops. It's very sensitive at lower speeds because it uses gyros. Um, that way I could keep it as slim as possible. It does use the zero drag glitch, but I do have a version that doesn't use the zero drag glitch. It's just slower. So this version is meant to be like really fast. So if we start flying, you'll notice it flies very steady and very fast. It does not break the sound barrier, but I, um, I think it can as long as you like face down. But just normal flight, it's very smooth and very easy to control. But when it's going fast, it um, it's very like easy to kind of aim at something. So here, let's um, let's go for an easy target. Let's hit this. And um, there we go. So just destroyed that balloon really easily, without a problem. And I think it has like eight TNT on it, so it is pretty powerful. So let's spawn it back in, and we'll try and hit some of the flat cannons. Okay, so now that we're flying, we're gonna kind of go down here and we're gonna try and gain some altitude and then we'll wrap back around and hit the cannon once we have probably around 500 miles per hour in speed so here we go okay so if you notice and here we go perfect hit it's completely destroyed that was actually really easy because um, the controls are not sensitive when you're going fast so if we take this up again we're gonna try and hit a bunker this time and the launch is pretty... Okay. I was just about to say that it's pretty smooth, but I guess not. Let's try that. Okay. Now, trying again. There we go. So, it usually has a very smooth launch. I don't know why it did that three times in a row, but whatever. So, here. Let's fly over here to the desert, and we're gonna try and take out one of those little bunkers that's all around. But yeah, it has eight TNT at the nose. And I can actually detonate it at any time just by clicking the mouse. So in, like, multiplayer, you could chase down someone's plane and um, detonate next to it. So here we go. Perfect. That's a direct hit. Uh, we are kind of stuck, though. So here, let's take off. And I'm actually going to try to hit a moving airplane, which is a little bit harder, but still pretty easy with this thing. It's actually really glitchy, the launch pad. But let's take off. Kinda move forward. Alright, so not those planes, because those are a little too close. I'm gonna fly up to the tall mountaintop and I'm gonna try and hit a plane or two uh, midair. Here we go. Oh, miss. <laughs> not that one. Let's try and get this one right here. Oh, we got it. Nice. I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. I'm just going to cut the video to where I'm using it against real players, just to kind of demonstrate how well it works. So, enjoy. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want to, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.